Hello and welcome to Lemon Studios, where we talk anything and everything entertainment. I'm of course the Lemon himself, Zeke Lamone, and this is the Lemmy vs. Liney for HBO's Peacemaker. So this is how this works. We get the good bits of Lemmy because he's our positive mascot. We get the bad bits of Liney because he's our negative mascot. So without further ado, let's make it do what it do. We kick off with the cold open of Peacemaker being hungover and sad. Eagle goes to get him a squirrel to try to make him feel better. Um, <laughs> that was always cute. I love Eagle. Uh... And, you know, he's still reminiscing about his brother and all that. He's just really sad. He makes this just looks like a horrible drink. <laughs> and then he goes to work and they finally figure out what uh, butterflies are, what makes them tick, how they enter through the body and all of this stuff. And then, and, you know, you know, I've been saying the show rides the pendulum. Uh, very, very funny and then very, very serious. The only other show that I really see like how th th this blends very well, but I actually gradual through episodes is Bojack. Uh, this one, it, it seems to go through one episode at a time. <laughs> so they start doing the funniness stuff when, you know, Peacemaker's obviously still pissed that he put his dad in jail. And uh, he starts naming all these different types of people from real to fake. That one didn't work for me. Usually I'm all for the, you know, one thing happens and becomes a bit pretty much because that happens in real life. Like it's very organic for the most part. It feels real. This one did not. This one felt forced. Like, okay, we need to start making it funny. So here we go. Uh, so uh, that one, I'll give it a line. Um, but, you know, opening credits start. That, you know, that's always a levy. <laughs> I love the opening credits. And then they're in the car and, you know, they actually start to start bonding. Um, fudge, I forgot her name. <laughs> Uh, the one that's not hardcore <laughs> is trying to tell people, hey, just be nice, man. You know, you don't have to be a dick all the time, you know? Uh, so he's trying to be nice to a communist, <laughs> to him. And, you know, they start talking about rock music and, you know, they're slowly bonding and they get to the place. Peacemaker puts his helmet on and it's the x-ray vision helmet. He just starts wrecking fools because he has x-ray vision. He sees the butterfly and he's boom, 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 boom. He's just going off. Uh... This whole sequence at this warehouse was great with Vigilante and Hardcore uh, finding all the honey wh wh where they eat. And uh, uh, Peacemaker, and I, again, I cannot remember her name, of uh, just wrecking a fool so on. And I like the bit of him killing someone that she's shooting him. He goes, you don't have to, you don't have to shoot him after I already killed him. Uh, so that's all a lemmy. And, you know, the, the final fight with the gorilla. It was literally like going through a level in a video game. And then you fight the final boss, which was a gorilla, which was from episode two that they referenced. So I like how that was a nice callback. It wasn't just a throwaway. And freaking Economist got the kill with the chainsaw. They bring up this chainsaw and he's like, ah, I got it. And that was enough for Peacemaker and Economist to finally come to terms. And they're all partying in the van. And Hardcore actually shows a smile and takes a picture. She's like, like it, it was nice. Like, yeah, they're finally a team. They finally come together. And then uh, the leader goes, yeah, y'all go ahead. Uh, y'all go celebrate. It's all good. And while all that's going on, there's a side mission with the police, you know, and uh, the detectives are going to basically uh, try to release the white dragon, even though he's a horrible person, uh, because, you know, it's the right thing to do so they can arrest Peacemaker. And then some more favors get called in by the uh, head guy uh, because he's a butterfly, so he gets another butterfly. And they go, no, he's going to stay in jail. That was pretty cool. I, I like that quite a bit. And then they go see Judge Judy, which was a joke. But I also think Judge Judy is a butterfly. I don't think he's going to really help. And we'll see him in the next episode. And then Peacemaker and um, and uh, uh, Waller's daughter <laughs> uh, have a nice moment. And it's really nice to see Peacemaker be like, man, I, I never had this before. Uh, being nice and all this stuff. And then she puts the diary back. And then she finds out that the head guy is a butterfly because she puts on the helmet and he has the extra vision. And he goes and attacks her and then we cut the black. Very good cliffhanger. Very good episode overall again. Got a Kite Man reference in there. I'm really enjoying it. Not my favorite episode. Episode 4 is still my favorite. Uh, but I did feel like it let me leave in this episode. What did y'all think about uh, Peacemaker Episode 5? Comment below and let me know. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you like me, subscribe as I grow to try to become a YouTuber. And that will do it for me, guys. And I'll see you right here next time at Lemon Studio.